It's audition time. Mr. Cheesy Pop! Hey everyone, it's Max, and I wanted to give you a little look at what the audition process is like for a working actor in LA. I like to do these videos every now and then. I haven't quite shown you the entire process, so um, I wanted to show you it from the moment I find out about an audition to going through it all. So, uh, it is about 5 p.m., and I just found out I have an audition tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. That's when we usually find these things out. This is why I really can never plan things until like the night before and sometimes even same day you get auditions. So I got my audition, comes in an email with the script that I have to learn. And so what you do, you print it out. Yeah, people still like to print it out. I see you still like to have it in your hand. If there's a lot of lines, some people like to highlight things. Um, and then you spend some time learning it the night before. And hopefully you have enough time to learn it the night before because who knows, you might have made plans. So here it is, that's all you're getting. <laughs> Not gonna show you what it's for or anything, um, but that's what I have to learn. And then what you also have to do is bring a headshot to your audition. So you bring your headshot, hey, and then you staple your resume to the back. So. That's the other thing you gotta do. So you staple your resume to the back of your headshot. I'm gonna do that now. Such a good stapler. <laughs> it just needs two staples in the center at the top and bottom. And then the other thing you have to do is you then have to cut around the edges because you know, you wanna make it nice and neat. How is this for excitement guys? We're gonna, we're gonna cut. I feel a lot of pressure when I'm cutting. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so the headshot, perfectly stapled. We are all set. Time to learn my lines. Okay, it's a new day. As you can see here, I'm in my polo and my khakis. Uh, you know, the other thing that you get when you get an audition is you get an idea of what the character is. And so then you try and figure out, oh, what does this character wear? And so you go in the clothes that your character would wear. My character is a, uh, a young restaurant manager. Uh, who works at like, you know, a standard American restaurant. So, I went with this. I think this works, right? <laughs> all right, I'm all set. Uh, now it's time to get in my car and go to the audition. Plugged in the address. I am ready to go. Gonna take about a half hour to get there, so let me get driving. On my way to the audition, I'm at a red light. You know, every actor will tell you when they're driving to an audition, the, the, their lines, you just like running your lines in your head and it's like the worst thing you should you should do <laughs> because you, you don't want to like over psych, you don't you know, you just don't want to psych yourself out and like over prepare and uh, but it, it inevitably your brain is like you gotta know these lines, you gotta know these lines Max so what I like to do sometimes is also just put like put on some music and then I'll focus again when I when I get to the audition so uh let's do that! Alright I've made it, wish me luck or actually break a leg is what you say. I'll let you know how it goes after. I feel good. And I'm done. That went great. You know, a great thing at an audition is when you get asked to make an adjustment by a casting director. Never take that as a sign that you did something wrong. Take it as a sign that they want to see what else you could do with the part and listen to what they say and then do it. Because they gave me an adjustment and I did it. And then they were like, that was a great adjustment. And, and, and so you go in and you do your job and do what they say and follow directions because it shows them that if they were to book you for the role when you get on set, that you know how to follow direction. So that's one piece of advice I can give you for auditions. All in all, I feel good. It went well. And now I wait to see if I get a callback, which would be tomorrow. So I have to find out about that tonight. I'll let you know if I hear anything by the end of tonight. Hopefully tonight's not the end of this video. <laughs> if tonight's the end of the video, then I didn't get a call back and that's okay too. I know I went in there, I did my job and that's all you can ever ask for of yourself as an actor at an audition that you went in there and you did your job. Sometimes you're just not exactly what the casting director's looking for for this role. But if you do a good job and you take an adjustment and you do it well like I did, you know, down the line they could be like, hey, that Maxwell Glick guy, remember we saw him for that one role? We should bring him in for this one. So, it's all you could ask for sometimes. 
you have no control over what you know exactly they want. So, I hope I get a call back. <laughs> we'll find out later. Well, guys, it's uh, seven o'clock. Still haven't heard anything about the audition, so that probably means that I I did not get a call back for this. But that's okay. That's all right. You move on to the next one, and. Uh, you know, that goes to just show you, you could have the best audition, like you went in that room, you knocked it out of the park, you did your thing, but you know, you're just maybe not exactly what they're looking for at that moment. And that's okay, because they'll remember me and they'll be like, we're gonna call Maxwell Glick in again. And the best thing as an actor is to just forget your audition. Just throw it out, move on to the next, I actually have another one tomorrow, so that's cool. I hope you enjoyed this little look into the audition process. If you'd actually like to see me do more videos like this where I actually really get into the audition process and show you like, you know, how to like learn a scene. Do you want videos like that, all you actors out there or all you kids out there that want to be actors? Do you want me to do that? Just let me know in the comments below. Let me know your questions about acting and what it's like to be an actor here in LA. Because a lot of you guys only know me for the Disney stuff. And I do love my Disney stuff. <laughs> but there's a whole lot more to me, um, this other side of me. And yeah, I'm an actor. That's what I do. So let me know in the comments below all your questions that you might have. And if you'd like to see more videos just like this, like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page, and have a magical day, everybody! Bye! See, I'll, I'll get the next one. I'm gonna get the next one. Or the next one. I am. I am. Okay, bye.